It's now filming, so whenever you're ready. I'm Catherine. I'm Effie. I'm Kate. <coughs> this is our pitch. Um, we've chosen to do the song Rather Be by the Bean Band. Um, we felt that this was a song that conformed to many features of the pop genre, as the lyrics include the storyline. And it was easy for us to then create a narrative for our movies. Um, we also did a lot of pop genre video deconstructions for our coursework, and we found like quite a few <coughs> consistent themes throughout the videos, such as parties, love, even if it's like breaking up or like new relationships. But parties and love were like the two strongest themes, which we thought we could incorporate well because. It's got like a dance beat to it, but the lyrics are about love, so we could incorporate both. These are our mood boards also for our coursework, which just show like the concept of pop, which we were trying to catch. Um, our video is going to start with two different couples breaking up, two separate couples breaking up, and one of the girls and the other boy in the other relationship sort of being isolated alone and then it goes to a party scene and um, yeah they sort of notice each other get along for that night and start going out going on dates and stuff um, we then <coughs> are going to have a scene of the couple having a picnic with the first boy from that relationship then noticing them and getting a bit annoyed and um, before then we're going to have an almost standoff with then a montage of the couple's relationship um, before uh, the end where she walks off with the second boy. Uh, we plan to film in a variety of different locations such as Catherine's house and we decided to use Catherine's house because it's convenient for us all to get there as it's sort of central and it's easily accessible as I live in Knaysby and I feel of some of us had Um We're going to use the bedrooms for the beginning and the stairs for the beginning. Um, we've also decided to use the walkways and streets of Crip because we'd already be at Catherine's house which is in Crip. And having a setting in the road is like conforming to the genre of conventions as it shows peace and an isolation of the relationship, so it's like keeping it in context of the relationship and the theme. <coughs> we will also be filming on the school fields as it's convenient for us again, just we can film in school time. Um, we can it's an open setting and it's can be seen as quite romantic if you can get it in the sort of right lighting. So we're hoping for good weather. And um, that's where I think it's going to be set. For the party scene we're also hoping to use the drama studio simply because it's a big room that we can fit as many people as possible. It's also got black curtains all around it which we can then temper with lighting to make it look like a party as we can't actually create a proper party scene because it wouldn't be like appropriate. But yeah, we thought if it was in the drama studio, we could just film the corner of pe as many people as we can get into it. And um, yeah, the lighting in there is really good as well, which you can set to a good light to use as a party. Uh, the main props we're going to use, um, the heart necklace is part of the story and narrative, um, but also conforming to pop genres in that the girls are typically very girly and have hearts and pink and what have you and the symbol of uh, our character ripping it off and such um, sort of is different to many of other pop videos that we've researched um, in that it's a strong female lead rather than a female who's dependent on another character or a boy. Um, the picnic basket and the suitcase sort of, um, again, part of the narrative in that the suitcase is a prop for when the girl leaves. Um, it symbolises uh, that 
the defiance in her actually leaving, again, um, not conforming entirely to other pop um, videos, but still remaining the same within the heart necklace. Um, me and Kate are going to be the actresses in it simply because it's just we can always rely that we're going to be fully committed because it's our A2 coursework and yeah so we just thought that would be the best idea rather than having to rely on someone else to come in, go away, come back, go away like we're always going to be together in these lessons and the hours that we put into it so that's why we thought that would be a good idea. Um, we're, we also need boy characters but we haven't actually decided I think Ali's going to be one of them. But um, we need to find another willing boy because a lot of them are like, oh, that's embarrassing. But, like, yeah, so we need boys. And then, obviously, for the party scenes, we're just going to take whoever we can get, whoever's got a free period, and just use whoever, because it's not really important. We just need numbers for that, so. Uh, the costumes, <coughs> again, are uh, similar to the stereotypical view that we have of... Uh, the girls and the boys in that for our breakup scene we're having the girl in very dressed down um, not by, bothered about her appearance um, due to the circumstance um, whereas in the party scene she's dressed up, she's wearing pink um, so conforming to the style of now and the genre conventions of the mainstream fashion For the date scene, the girl will be wearing a summer dress as it's an outside picnic type summer day. Um, and then it's sort of a casual but pretty and elegant look, so it's like making her seem attractive. And then boys will be in denim shorts and a t shirt. And then boy one will be in black jeans and a grey top uh, because of the darker colours representing his negative. Sort of is the bad character. Yeah. Yeah. This is our shooting schedule, which goes through shot location, lighting, cast, director, all of that. Um, it's exactly the same as the storyboard, and then it goes into further detail. We've thought about contingencies and health and safety as well. So, like stuff about if it's we're unable to get to my house or stuff like that, and if it's raining outside, what we can do for, instead of when we've planned to do the outside shots. <coughs> um, for our pre-production we need to organise and prepare costumes for filming so that there's no like faffing around on the day or like us being unorganised and not having the actual costumes. I'm going to collect and buy them, book the cameras, ensure Catherine is able to have the car as she can now drive, so that'll be good for us. And then bring all the props in to make sure that we have everything ready. Uh, in the post-production, um, we've been generous with our timings, as we know like from past experience, that how long, and with tec tec technical, technical difficulties, <laughs> um, that it takes a while to edit and ensure that we're all there and we all agree. Um, on the shot angles and lighting and such, um, but we hope to have it all done by the 4th of October. That's it. Thank you very much. Any questions? Yeah, thank you very much then, guys.